You look at the Arizona Coyotes beating Nashville. As much as I said Calgary, I don't have faith in them. I have lost faith in the Nashville Predators. Because how could you possibly keep faith in the Nashville Predators at this point? You know, you, you look at a potential cup window. They do make it to the final against Pittsburgh, what, four years ago now. And you say, okay, maybe. But then this season, you know, you get rid of Peter Laviolette. And at the end of the day, you bring in Matt Duchesne as if you aren't paying enough people high-end money. Uh, two points in four games, 42 points in 66 games. Is that what you want out of an $8 million contract for Matt Duchesne? You probably want a little bit more. You're still paying Kyle Turris the sun and the moon in one of the worst deals in the league. You signed Colton Sissons until the sun explodes. You know, defensively, it's still not that bad with uh, Ellis, Yossi, Ekholm, uh, and Dante Fabro emerged you know, this season as well. But, you know, unfortunately for Nashville, they've dipped back to the point where it's like, okay, you have to prove to everybody that you are actually contenders because getting bounced here, nobody has faith that you're actually contenders. They gave it to UC Soros, who was the better goal in the regular season. They gave him the spot in the playoffs, and I can't help, of course, but think that was to see what do we have in UC Soros. You got one more year of Pekka Rene and UC Soros at their current you know, contracts. Yeah, I think you needed to see what you had with UC Saros. Give him a chance to run with the ball, especially with you know Pekka Rene not exactly uh, posting the best save percentage this season. It was worth going with the young goalie to see what you have. But right now for Nashville, it's just a matter of you know you lost another playoff series that you really should have won, and I don't know where they go from here because you are stuck with some albatross contracts. And you, again, you just lost a series that you really should have won. And that's not to necessarily uh, besmirch the good name of the Arizona Coyotes, who I was very much rooting for in this series, although I thought Nashville would win. But I think most people could say Arizona probably shouldn't be where they are, especially to heading into this series. You have John Shaka leave the team in some of the most you know bizarre set of circumstances I've ever seen as a hockey fan. And then you have the Yotes go into the series. A lot of pressure on them. Uh, for those that forget, uh, yeah, they don't have their first round pick because they traded it for Taylor Hall, who didn't exactly light the world on fire to start the season. Or you know, once he was traded there, Taylor Hall's in the playoffs, though. <laughs> so it worked out at the very least. As I try to fight off the sneeze, but you look at the Coyotes. The potential is still there. Is it the most solid roster in the world? Not by any means, but. Now that you're in the playoffs, if you can get the most out of Hall and Kessel and get some players to overperform, who's to say? Because we all knew, okay, they have one of the best one-two punches in goal, uh, really, in the league. You, know, you look at what Antti Ranta's done when healthy. The issue is he hasn't been healthy. But then it's been the emergence of Darcy Kemper, one of the more underrated stories for what he's done in these past two seasons in Arizona. And you want to look at why Arizona's here. That 9.33 save percentage in those four games is absolutely the reason. So for the Coyotes, very interesting matchup coming up. But learning experience for some of the younger guys, you know, riding a hot goaltender, anything can happen. But it's interesting to look at this team and say, yeah, hey, Oliver Ekman Larson's finally back in the playoffs. He's 29 years old. And to look at Phil Kessel, who has... Bit of a chip on his shoulder right now. You know, gets... Uh, ne can't necessarily call it this, but gets dumped by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Doesn't end the best season here. If he can wake up in these playoffs, and if Taylor Hall can get going, because Taylor Hall burned a lot of money over the past calendar year or so. If Taylor Hall can get his game back under control. You know, you look at the 17-18 you know, season, wins the Hart Trophy. <clears throat> Was really good the next year, but injuries shortened. Gets traded this year. If Taylor Hall can perform at a high level, who's to say what these Coyotes could do? So it's a huge win for them. Should they be in this point? Yeah, because they earned it. But obviously a huge missed chance there for Nashville that really sets that franchise back a couple of steps. However, we've seen it before where franchises get sent back a couple of steps and then all of a sudden it's... You know, they find success because no one expects them to actually deliver anymore. So, 
interesting times for Nashville. Uh, more interesting times for Arizona. They're moving on. So.